welcome to the video on salaries and contracts. Uh, open up your book to page six, your workbook, and follow along and take notes as I go through the lesson. Uh, the very first question here says, Nellie is the head chef at a restaurant and her annual salary is $56,000. The two things we want to know are how much does Nellie earn each month and how much does Nellie earn each week? So to begin, we need to identify uh, what we mean by this word annual. And annual here means yearly. Okay, so every year, Nellie earns $56,000. So for the first question, we want to know how much Nellie earns each month. Now, typically when you're paid a salary, you don't get paid $56,000 in the first month and then not make anything for the rest of the month. So we want to be able to budget our money here. So this annual salary is going to be paid out in equal distributions each month for the entire year. Now, there are uh, 12 months in a year. So what we want to do, we want to divide this $56,000 by 12. And what that's going to tell us is how much we get paid each month or Nelly gets paid each month because we're not getting paid that. So I'm going to open up my calculator here and I'm going to type in 56,000 and we're going to divide that by 12 and I get 4,666.66 that repeats. Okay. So 4,000 666. Now, when we're dealing with money, we always want to round to the nearest hundred, so we're going to say 67. The next question, how much does Nellie earn each week? Now, you might think, oh, there's about four weeks in a month, and there's 12 months, so there's 48 weeks in a year. Well, actually, there's 52 weeks in a year. So you need to be careful here. So two really important things to remember are there are 12 months in a year and there are 52 weeks in a year. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take that annual salary one more time. But this time we are going to divide by 50. Two. So 56,000 divided by 52, and that gives us 1,076.92. Okay, moving on to uh, the first example here. Sarah designs houses. She is paid by contract from each builder. So getting paid by contract is one way that you can get paid. You can sign a contract and uh, say they'll pay you X amount of dollars uh, to do a particular task. And uh, it may take you a little bit of time or a lot of time in order to complete that contract. So Sarah here is designing houses and she's getting paid by contract from each builder. And this year she earned $25,000 $15,200, $19,750, and $31,800 on four different contracts. And what we want to know is what is her gross income. Now, gross income is the total amount of money earned in the pay period before any deductions. Okay? So when we're talking about our gross income here, uh, probably we're talking about gross annual income. Okay, because we're talking about how much she earned in four, four contracts over uh, a year. And this is before we take off stuff like taxes and uh, EI and CPP and, and so on and so forth. So uh, what we're going to do here is we simply have to add these amounts together because this is what she made. She made $25,000. She made $15,200. She made $19,750, and she made 
$800 on four separate contracts. So if we add all those together, we're going to get how much money she made that year. Okay, so we'll pull up my calculator and I can plug in $25,000, $15,200, add to that $19,750, and lastly $31,800, and that total equals $91,750. $91,750. So what is Sarah's gross income? Well, I could say that Sarah's gross income is $91,750. In the next example, Azif is a project manager for a publishing company. His yearly salary is $65,000. This year he will also get a bonus that is 2% of his salary. What is Azif's gross income? So here we're talking about gross income again, but there's this little added thing here called a bonus. Sometimes when you work for companies and you do uh, really well, you'll get a bonus in Sometimes that's a percentage of your annual salary. So in this case, uh, Azif is going to get a bonus um, of 2% of his salary. So, this is so the first thing we need to do is calculate how much is this bonus. Okay, so uh, one way to do this, so, so let's, let's talk about solution one here. There's a couple ways we can go about doing this. What is 2% of $65,000? Okay. Well, to do this, we need to change this percent to a decimal and then multiply that by our $65,000 here. So 2% as a decimal is 0 0.02. And if you forget how to do that, you can just remember that a percentage is a fraction over 100. So 2% is equal to 2 over 100, so I have 2 one hundredths, or uh, if you want, you can actually just uh, divide um, by 100, and that'll give you 0 0.02. And I'm going to take this 0 0.02, and I'm going to multiply this by $65,000. And let's see what I get. So I get 0 0.02 times $65,000 is $1,300. Okay. So now I know how much the bonus is. $1,300 is the bonus in a dollar amount. That 2% of the $65,000 is $1,300. So to calculate the gross income, I need to take $65,000, so the gross income is gonna be the annual salary of $65,000 plus the bonus of $1,300. So this gives me, and for here you can pull out a calculator if you want, but we could easily uh, add this up, these two numbers together. This is $66,300. So here's our answer. This is the gross income. Now another way that we can do this, let's call this uh, solution two. As we can think about this in a very different way, about our percents. If Azif is going to get paid his salary plus 2% of his salary, he's going to get paid 100% of his salary plus 2% of his salary, 
which is equal to 102% of his salary. So what is 102% of uh, $65,000? Well, you remember that little trick uh, I did up here. I said, you know, we could just take our percentage here and divide by 100 to get our decimal number. So let's go ahead and do that. And all I have to do is say, well, what's 102 divided by 100? Okay, and that's 1.02. Now, a shortcut to that is you just, you're just going to take that decimal place there that, that you actually don't see, and you're just going to move it uh, to the left twice. Yeah, that's a little shortcut, but you're welcome to use a calculator. So I have 1.02 times $65,000 and 1.02 times $65,000 is $66,300. See, so we get the same answer okay and that's it so go ahead and uh, do the practice for this section